Today we're talking about the most decorated American battleship of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the USS New Jersey. It is the longest serving battleship in history, serving in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Persian Gulf. Unsurprisingly, the most decorated battleship of all time belongs to the best class of battleship of all time, the Iowa class, also known as Nebraska Premium. Iowa class battleships were the fastest battleships of all time, capable of traveling 33 knots, which is like 38 miles an hour if you speak freedom fractions like an adult. Or if you've got some weird decimal fetish, it's like 61 kilometers an hour. So what do you sacrifice to be the fastest battleship of all time? Absolutely nothing, because it's also the hardest hitting battleship of all time. It is equipped with 49 Ower Lycan auto cannons, 20 quadruple bofers, 10 Mark 28 5 inch turrets, and its main armament of 9 Mark 7s installed on 3 turrets. These guns shoot a 16 inch 2700 pound HE shell. And if you don't know, HE stands for high explosive, which is American for get effed. I've been informed I'm no longer allowed to say fuck. Whoops. Anyways, these shells are absolutely enormous. So big, in fact, that while the United States called the New Jersey the Big J, the enemies nicknamed it the Black Dragon due to its darker gray paint job and its ability to breathe fire. And I can hear the comments section already. Buh, the Yamato had bigger guns, buh. I didn't say the USS New Jersey had the biggest guns of all time, I said it was the hardest hitting of all time. Believe it or not, the American military doesn't really subscribe to bigger is better. We prefer accuracy by volume. While the 16 inch guns on the New Jersey are in fact smaller, they do have a much higher muzzle velocity, allowing them to have just as much, if not more damage than the 18 inch guns on the Yamato. However, because they're smaller and lighter, it allows the USS New Jersey to carry more ammunition, as well as fire it faster meaning that it is absolutely the hardest hitting battleship of all time. And in 1969, while the Yamato was busy being a coral reef, the USS New Jersey proved it. Let's just read it together. The New Jersey showed what her nine 16 inch guns could do in 1969 when she nosed up to a small, heavily fortified island off of North Vietnam. The enemy soldiers were allowed to escape unharmed. Then the dreadnought opened fire. A newspaper headline later told the result, the New Jersey sinks an island. I need a minute to process, please hold. It sunk a fucking island. I didn't know that was an option. And not even just like your regular ass island. This is a fortified island. This island's been drinking its milk and it's still got fucking deleted. Like, I had no idea that you could waterboard a landmass. Poor Mother Nature's been rubbing two tectonic plates together for a millennia to make this island. And then you piss off Uncle Sam and Mother Unnature comes along and freedom baptizes the whole thing. You just got your ass beat so bad, you're gonna have to rename your favorite brand of butter. You're gonna be putting O Lakes on your toast from now on. Geneva's gonna be pulling cards out of the suggestion box like, why is this one wet? Meanwhile, these guys are back living in a Kevin Costner movie. So yeah, needless to say, the USS New Jersey packs a punch. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. My merch store and all my other links are available at thefatelectrician.com, where the Quackbang 2.0 merchandise is now available. So until next time, thank you for your service. Quackbang out.